and we're on. All right, so I'm going to start with my tail, however the length you want to make it. And then this is going to be the center of my bow. So I'm going to make a loop. And I'm going to pinch it. And then make a loop coming out the other side. If this is single-sided ribbon, you would need to give it a twist to make sure both of the right sides are facing out. And then you want to bring it back to the center, trying to make sure that your loops are the same size. And I'm going to make another behind it. I'm pinching everything in the center. And another loop behind. And I'm going to make another little center loop, or you can go up even behind it at that point if you want to. I'm going to make a little kind of cheer loop in the front. It's going to be the front of the bow. And then this will be my remaining tail, and I would cut it to the length. And you can use a pipe cleaner right through the center to hold the bow. Mm -hmm. And then tie that onto your package. And then you can just fluff out your loops. Are we videoing? Yes, we are videoing okay. now. Okay, so I've got two tails, and I'm going to take the right one over the left and then go underneath, and this is just a regular overhand knot. I'm going to pull the left tail down straight. I'm going to pull the right one up, so it's now the top. So starting with the bottom tail, I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to take then the top tail and wrap it around from the back, around to the front, and then tuck a loop behind, and then pull. I'm going to adjust. Because this is wired ribbon, you can smush it and crush it as much as you want, and it will be beautiful. You want your loops about even. You need to 